in sales, how long should a sales presentation be and why do you need to know? I'm Scott Silvenbell. I'm coming to you live from Sacramento, California on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. Now, here's the thing. I see this come up a lot lately in the forums. I've had a couple of salespeople ask me, how long should your sales presentation be? Right? And when I was in sixth grade, I had a teacher, her name was Miss Lavecchia, and she said this, it kind of shocked the class, and she said, hey, when you write, it should be like a woman's skirt, long enough to cover the subject, but short enough to keep it interesting, right? And so the same thing happens in your sales presentation. There is going to be some things that you do as you go along and you have a conversation. Some buyers need more information than others. Some buyers need less information than others, but you still have to have a framework. You still have to have a process that you work with it. And so I have this belief, you really need two presentations. You need your short presentation that you're going to have with some buyers, like uh, an executive summary. And then you have your long presentation that you're going to use with buyers that really need it. And there's a time after you've been out on the field long enough, you learn which process to use. Okay, so I recently went and presented at a company and they were asking me, hey, we deal with busy executives. And I said, which pre how many presentations do you have? And everybody looked around like, what are you talking about? I'm like, well, if you're dealing with executives, they usually don't have a lot of time. They usually make fast decisions. Usually people come to them and say, here's all the data that we have. Here's all the bullet points. Here, make the decision. And so where salespeople really screw up is sometimes, sometimes when they meet with executives, that's not the presentation they want. Sometimes the executive wants the long presentation. Sometimes the executive wants the short presentation. So if you have been in sales for a while and you've got a good presentation, cool, double it up, make two presentations. If you're brand new to sales, have one because you don't have the skills yet to have two. So here's what happens is you got to have the process, the skills, the ability, the know-how for you to have two presentations for to figure out how long should your self presentation be, right? Me, I don't really need a ton of information. I'm just like, is it cool? Do I like it? Does it get all the features that I want? I'll take it, right? I need the short preso. I don't need the long one. Right? I'm probably about 20% of the population. 80% of the population, depending upon what you sell, probably needs a long presentation. So this means that you go through, you set an agenda. So this is my belief in a lot of the industries that I work in, your industry may be a little bit different. This is why you gotta sit down and you gotta work it out. In the industries that I work in, this is how it works a lot of times. You build some rapport, you go in, you set the agenda, you do the discovery phase, you ask questions, and then you do the second stage, which is tie the emotions to the discovery phase. You give a presentation, you roll the numbers, you ask for the sale, you deal with objections, and then you close the sale, close the deal, roughly, right? That's just the most generic formula for it. So how long should yours be? Well, there's a couple things that are gonna happen for you. Look at your industry, look how it's normally done, and see what you could take away, see what you could add, see what works out. I mean, some of this is more of an advanced sales skill than a new sales skill. So if you're a new salesperson, you're like, I'm gonna do this. Probably not a good idea, right? If you're an advanced salesperson and you're like, how long should it be? Well, then let's take a look, you, take a look at your process and see what can I keep and what can I cut? I knew that if I was meeting with somebody and they didn't have a ton of time and they didn't, like they were a busy person, like in, in home sales, I knew that if I was meeting with somebody at five o'clock in the morning and six o'clock in the morning, it was a done deal because that person was busy for whatever reason, right? Somebody who was like, hey, let's meet at 11 o'clock on a Saturday, eh probably not going to be a good deal because that person like they don't value my time as much as I value it and they're like I just want to go play some soccer I want to go to the gym they weren't wrapped up into it enough but there was times I remember I met with a really high level CEO and the office called they said Scott we got somebody who wants to meet at five o'clock in the morning can you take that call and I'm like heck yes I will so I meet this guy and he worked for a really well-known company in the Sacramento region if I said it and you live in Sacramento you know who it is let's just say it's a big company and so he was like, look, I don't have a ton of time for this. I've got like 30 minutes. Can you do what you need to do in 30 minutes? And I said, yes, I do. Yes, I can. Because I got a long preso and I got a short preso. I've got the executive summary and I got the long version, right? So how long should a presentation be? Long enough to keep your buyer interested. Long enough to tell them what they need to tell them. Long enough for you to ask for the deal and fill out the paperwork and get going. It's my long way of saying it. But this is more of an advanced skill. If you're new to sales, Sit down with your manager, sit down with your trainer, and figure out which presentation you need to have. You get really good at that one first. You get really good at the long game first, and then good get good at the short game. That's the only way that I could ever see that making it work for you, especially if you're brand new. You got one thing to do from here, just one thing. Find the subscribe button and click on it. Every time I send out a video, you'll get an update that says, Scott Bell Consultant sent out another fantastic video. You should check it out, which you should. We'll see you soon. Thanks for dropping by. Aloha.